welcome to real civil youtube channel in this video i am going to tell you that uh, many student faces the difficulty that for example uh, if you see this particular force and if i resolve this force its horizontal component will be 500 cos 45 okay now many students face the difficulty that this force will create a clockwise movement or anti-clockwise movement so I am going to tell you in this particular video lecture the simplest way okay so uh, this is the force and let's assume that we have to take the movement about point B okay now in order to find create the movement about point B there are two ways this force either go this way or go this way towards b means it has both the options let's say option one and option two okay now first of all we will go with option one okay first we will go with option one so uh, now assume that here you are this is your i okay now you have to see the point b so for that first you will rotate this way then you will rotate this way and now you will rotate this way this is your i okay now you can see this b point okay as it is in the downward direction so for that you take the path like this so we can say this is anti clockwise but for this you take this 90 degree again 90 degree and again 90 degree so almost it is 270 degree okay remember this value only now we will go with the our second path okay so for second path uh, if I go this way as the B is the downward I can see it that means I have gone this way so this is called as clockwise and the distance that I have traveled is only 90 degree okay I have uh, shown you both the ways now you have to choose the shortest path as 90 degree is the shortest path hence this particular force will create a clockwise movement about point B okay so you have to make sure that you will see the you have to choose the shortest path and then decide it is clockwise or anti-clockwise okay thank you so much for watching the video please like share subscribe the channel thank you so much